on chase and uh, I'm into hunting and fishing and uh, I want to have a go at the deep sea trawlers. Well, you're in luck, Chase, because Tellys will be taking you on a trip of a lifetime aboard a deep sea trawler. The Amatel Enterprise is returning from a six week voyage to its home port of Nelson. Not only do they catch fish on the ship, they process it ready to be sent straight to the supermarkets. The 38 person crew have two days to unload tons of fish and take on fresh supplies before setting out again for another trip. It's called Turnaround. How you going, Chase? G'day. Pleased to meet you. Welcome to the Enterprise. We're going to have a look around, eh? Oh, yeah. Sweet ass. Mike Knowles is a barter technician named after the machine that cuts and fillets the fish. Well, Chase, um, turnarounds are really important for us. It's our only time we can get in and do the maintenance we need to do to get through our trip. So we'll get out and have a look, but before we do that, here's some gear that you'll be needing to put on. All right. Thank you. I'll uh, go and throw this on then. Good stuff. A trainee would have to be someone who's motivated, can use their head, and a team player. OK, Chase, this machine here is called a 192. It fillets 90 fish a minute. Basically, the fish come through here, its tail gets cut off, its head gets removed, gets transferred through here, it does a series of cuts, and it actually removes the fillet from the frame of the fish and it'll come out the other end as two perfect fillets. When you have problems with barter machines, if you're doing, say, 90 fish a minute, you've got 90 problems a minute. The machine is far from ready to process fish, and Chase will be helping to put it back together. Job one is sharpening a knife. So we'll, uh, we'll put one on there and we'll give it a sharpen up. These here are uh, sharpening stones. The knife will sit just in the middle here. Yep. The stones will turn. Obviously water to lubricate the stones. And it puts a nice sharp edge on our blades. OK, Chase, I'll let you sharpen that one. OK. Chase is sharpening a flank knife. There are 16 knives in a 192 barter machine, so there are a fair few to get through. How long do you uh, sharpen the knives for? Depending on how blunt they are, but usually three minutes. Bone's an issue, fish jamming up in the machine, bits breaking off the machine. The maintenance is huge. It's something that you're doing just day in, day out. Oh, I think that might be sharp now, Chase. Should we have a look? OK. So we'll just lift it up, lock it in, and this is how we check our knives to see how sharp they are. That's pretty damn sharp. Once the fish is in fillets, it needs the skin removed. And that job is easily done by the trio machine. We'll uh, take this hair off and we'll do a bit of maintenance on it. We will replace these two bearings here. Okay. Basically, we are processing the fish to a point where there's next to no meat left on the on the frame. It's a bit of a balancing act to get it right so there's no bone on the product. OK, Chase, this is our trio knife guide. So these here are the bearings we're going to replace, and the knife basically runs along these bearings like that. Okay. What I'll get you to do, I'll get you to replace these two bearings here. Yep. Good as gold? Yep. How far do you want that undone? Yeah, we'll take that all the way out. It might be loose enough now you can get it out with your fingers. Good as gold. A good trainee would be someone who's motivated, keen to learn, and is a, is a good team player, someone who can go to sea with 40 other people and fit in and get on. So now we'll fit that seal again. So the reason we do that is to stop the salt water getting into the bearing and rusting the bearing and the bearing collapses. Yep. So do we want to clean that down or that's fine? That'll be fine. Yeah. So how often do you change the bearings on this machine? We have two of these machines and uh, we we'll change those bearings twice, maybe three times a trip. OK. Excellent. All right. The fish factory is filled with a range of machines, all doing different jobs and all needing maintenance. And this one gets greased every day. This machine is driven by an electric motor. 
It's um, very important to have grease in these bearings at all times. Um, if the bearings collapse, the chains could come off and it could be a real nightmare. When they're out at sea and something goes wrong, there is no calling back to shore for parts. So Mike has to be able to fix any part of the factory line, and that means welding. There's always something to fix. There's a lot of stainless steel. Before our trainees come onto the boat, we'd like them to have welding experience. Um, I've set up a test piece here for you to have a crack at. Right. Okay, mate, so here's your, your helmet and your gloves. Basically, you're going to hold your electrode on a slight angle and not push it in too far and just move it slowly across the edge here and just close the visor on your helmet before you strike your electrode. Okay. Okay? Yep. Good stuff. All yours. Basically, to get um, a chance to train these position, a trade would be good. There's electrical work, there's mechanical, there's hydraulic. It's, it's right across the board. That's what makes it quite challenging. Very good. When you're in rough weather, obviously, it's a lot more difficult. It can be a bit more fun and games, but that's great. Excellent. All right. It's been a big day, but there is so much more to come. Mike and his team work on into the night to get the barter machine up and running. When Chase turns up the next morning, he's shown his cabin for the journey. Do you get seasick? I uh, don't know yet. We'll have oh. to see. Yeah, time will tell. Before being shown the finished barter machine. So it's been a busy night, but we've uh, got it all together now. It's ready to run. Yep. So, Chase, here we have our alignment station. The fish go underneath here, and this stands and straightens the fish up. And then from there, it's transported through by these spike chains. They're uh, rather sharp, rather nasty. And then we have a series of knives all the way along the machine, uh, very sharp. And these knives will uh, fill up the fish. The machine has to be tested before they leave the dock, so this is the moment it all comes down to. OK, so the machine sounds good. She's all ready to run, so it's time to go to sea and get some fish. OK. With part one of his journey complete, how did he do? Overall, I think he's done extremely well. Um, he seems like a really good team player, and I could see him fitting in on this vessel and being part of the team. I've realised that what they do requires a lot of skill and precision, and uh, my memorable part was uh, the welding, just because I haven't done it before, but yeah, it was all good fun. There is a national certificate in seafood vessel operations, factory trawler technician level four. This qualification balances the technical skills of the job, along with vessel and personnel safety. When completed, you can start work towards the National Diploma in Seafood Vessel Operations, Factory Trawler Technician, Level 6. Barter technicians are employed on a range of fishing vessels from small fishing boats to factory trawlers. They need to be fit and healthy as the job involves heavy lifting. Marine engineers earn $58,000 a year on average, and seagoing chief engineers may earn up to $165,000. The boat is alcohol and drug free, and spot checks are made regularly. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.